Okay, shockers back in black here. Uh, I got a starter motor hooked up to it this time. Um, and I got the ignition system hooked up to the low voltage side now. Thank the mass cow. And uh, I got two check valves hooked up to my torch. Um, just let some of you guys know who are planning on running any type of device like this. I'm still getting flashbacks in my cell. My bubbler's going off on me. Um, luckily, I haven't had the... Uh, Electrolyte reservoir go yet, but um, you may see that today. Hopefully not. Um, I'm going to run this on electricity first, um, just so you know that's what's happening there. Let you see the parts moving at speed, and then uh, I'm going to turn the gas on for a while and let it flush all the air out of the system. Then I'm going to fire up the ignition, and um, hopefully I don't destroy my computer here. So let's see how this goes. There it is running on the battery. Or not on a battery, but it's running on the starter. Um, if this thing works, the starter will double as a generator. Let's see how that goes. Make sure I'm in view there. Now it looks like that piston's moving in slow motion on my screen, but the drill's going pretty fast. Uh-oh. Piston just seized up. Here it goes. I got the gas on now. I'm going to get ready to set the ignition off in a minute here. Hopefully it don't see that before I start. Nothing yet. My switch might not be working now. Nothing. I don't think my ignition's working. Okay, for whatever reason, I'm not getting a spark. Yeah, I think I need to grab like uh, an old air pump, a tiny air compressor, and modify it. I don't know how well this is going to work, even if I do get a good ignition system on it. All the valves work, the ignition switch is working. I just can't get um, the ignition to fire because I don't have a capacitor. What's up, guys? Uh, just tried firing this thing up again. Um, I didn't want to record it first thing because I didn't want to blow up my computer, but uh, turns out my ignition system's not working again. Um, the switch is working fine. I can get a spark. I don't know if you'll be able to see this from where I'm at, but 
think I have her on right. You probably can't see that little spark, but it is getting a spark. But when I run the engine now, bear in mind I'm about to hook up a little starter that I attached to this. Uh, this little motor. Uh, just to crank it over. And you see now, no spark. The transformer doesn't have time to power up. Let's just take a look at this thing running. You can see all the valves going. I don't know if you can see all that. Kind of looks like it's going slow motion in the computer. Oh, just locked up on me again. That's another thing. Remember them sidewall pressures I was talking about? Even with this little stroke, it's starting to happen. The oil's eating me up. I need some lithium grease bad. But, uh, yeah, if any of you guys can help me out on an ignition system, or if you think I can hook a capacitor up to a flyback, give me some advice. I'm hurting for an electrical ignition. Something small. I have some transformers that I tried to hook up. Um, didn't have too much luck with that. Uh, maybe I'll give it a shot again with a 400 volt capacitor and a camera setup, maybe. Okay, in conclusion to all that, I pretty much uh, ruined my couple. I gotta fix that. A little rubber thing right there. The piston seized up and everything went to hell on me there for a minute. Uh, the ignition system isn't working. I'm thinking about getting a relay and hooking the high voltage side back up to the switch system and using this switch here to run a magnetic relay to turn on this so that this is running at all times because this switch is definitely not working with this setup. Uh, you can hold the switch on and put, some, put a screwdriver up to this and get a spark but when it's running it just doesn't work. Um, having sidewall pressure issues on my piston it's starting to seize up. Sometimes when water gets on brass it causes this residue. I don't know if you can see the bottom pan of this. You got water on it and it's just kind of funks it up. It's not spinning good anymore. I definitely got some work to do. If any of you guys have any advice on hooking a capacitor up to a flyback, this piston's giving me problems. So I'm going to work on that. Um, I wish I had the money to buy like a small air compressor pump instead, but this is what I got. Uh, probably not going to do anything to this until I get the parts. Um, sorry to disappoint you. I'm going to post a video of nothing, but I thought it might be neat to at least watch it run and attempt to do what it was intended for. I'm probably going to be getting to work on some experiments today that will show some actual data on as far as um, hydrogen detonations again. But this time I'm going to be uh, doing uh, known volumes of gas. I'm going to start it out at uh, 5 milliliters and go on up from there. And... Um, do all different types of gas, air compositions, and stuff like that. And a little bit more details in the data this time rather than just footage of flashes going off inside a little tank. 